Hello everyone, this is M. Alan West of FlashCadaver.com and today I'm going to take you through a basic installation of the RetroPie application in Linux. Um, I'm using a L Linux uh, Mint Cinnamon Edition. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to navigate over to RetroPie.org.uk if you're unfamiliar with um, the uh, RetroPie, basically what it is is it's a uh, application that allow you to have all of your emulators in one place. So it makes it a lot easier to uh, navigate and manage all your emulators and your themes and all this kind of stuff. And it gives it a nice user interface. So we're going to click on Get RetroPie. And a lot of people also use this on the uh, Raspberry Pi uh, computers, which they're pretty cool. But I'm currently installing it inside of a PC. Um, inside of a PC, you have a few more options that you wouldn't have available, such as uh, Wii emulators and GameCube emulators. And uh, also, certain emulators work better inside of a home computer. So what you need to do is navigate down to uh, Debian Ubuntu on PC, and that will work inside of uh, Linux Mint as well. And open up your terminal. And then once you open up your terminal, you would go through every line of this and copy and paste, enter in your password. And once you've went through all the lines all the way down to here this one down to this one it'll open up a menu that looks like this and you will do a basic install and then perform a reboot and then once you perform a reboot you should be able to navigate down to your menu and underneath of games you'll see the raspberry pi icon which i've already right-clicked on it and added it to my desktop. When you first open it up, it will ask you to um, configure your controls, which it will look like this right here. And you'll click any button on your controller. It'll identify your controller. And then you will go through the setup process doing left, right, up, down on your directional pad, start, select, and uh, you will basically th go through every single one of the buttons. Now the only thing that you really have to worry about setting up, which I would keep consistent, oh the thumbsticks are just pushing down the thumbstick as if it's a button. So pushing straight down on it and then do your left, right on it. And then once you get down to the hot key, I would use the select key. Click A for OK. And then you should be able to use your controls. Currently, I have a different theme installed. The uh, default theme would be under UI settings, theme set. And it should be the uh, carbon theme is what you'll see. Oops. It's a little bit crazy trying to navigate inside of this uh, virtual machine because it is very laggy in the virtual machine. Okay, so. Then once you have your controls set up, what you need to do is you need to Go inside the Raspberry Pi, or Raspberry Pi and scroll down to Raspberry Pi Setup Script. Click that. It will ask you for your password. Enter in your password. Um, you will then update your script and do another regular update. And you, from here, you can manage your packages 
and you just click over to go back there's a menu down here at the bottom so if we want to we can go into tools and configuration oops seemed to have crashed it on that okay well we won't bother about that but anyhow we can go into uh, let's go into manage packages and do experimental packages and from here we can install the dolphin emulator and the dolphin emulator is the emulator that is used for gamecube and wii if we scroll down there's other emulators that we can install there's actually a PSP emulator down through here. Let me see if I can find it. Well, I thought it was on here. Maybe it's not on this one. I think it's an optional. But anyhow, you can install all different kinds of emulators through there. Oh yeah, there it is. There's the PSP emulator, and then there's the Raycast emulator, which will be Dreamcast games. So you can install any emulator through here, and you can have multiple emulators for each system. And then once you have all these installed and you go through the installation process on all of them, you would exit out. Uh, from here you can also find out what your IP address is, you can do uh, different types of configurations, we can install themes. So if we want to go into themes, we can go over here and we can scroll down through the different themes and see what we have available. I've already installed a couple. So when you first start it, you'll, we'll only have one theme. So. Let's just try a different one that I haven't installed yet. See what we can find. There's Pycade. Not really wanting that one. Snazzy, that one's pretty good. Blu ray, that one's pretty cool. Uh, soda can. Let's do the soda can one. The soda can one's pretty cool. Um, this might take a minute to install, so we'll just have to be patient. I probably should have picked one that was a little bit smaller to install. Uh, dark switch, light switch, those are both cool. Okay, the installation of that is complete, so we're going to back out of this. Click cancel, cancel, and then it'll take us back to this menu. And as you can see, we currently have no games installed. So we're going to have to click the start menu and scroll down to quit. And then we're going to quit out of emulation station. Click yes. So we don't need this open anymore. So where are your games installed? Your games are installed in the home folder. So double click on that. And you'll see that you have two Raspberry Pi folders. This one has logs, temp files, all that kind of jazz in there that you most likely won't mess with most of these. It also has your setup script and stuff like that, which you can run those. Um, but the folder we're concerned about is the one that just says Raspberry Pi. So we'll click on that one. And here you will have your BIOS and you will also have your ROMs. Well, your BIOS folder will be empty. So what you need to do is you need to download all the correct BIOS. And I have the majority of them for almost every single system. So you will copy these, uh, you'll copy all of these, and you will drop them into your BIOS folder, which I already have them installed, so I don't need to redo that all over again. And then you have your games. So you will go into your ROMs folder, and I have some Game Boy games. 
I have uh, are these are Game Boy Advanced, uh, GameCube. Uh, we've got some Sega games, so I'm going to go ahead and put the Sega games in here, just for the heck of it. So let's scroll down and see where our Sega games are. So that's Sega 32X, Sega 32X, and then I'll copy these over. Now, if we open up RetroPie again, and run emulation station, we will see our games are now available. And it says we have two games available. So if I click on this, I can see, yes, I do have two games. Now, the only problem is, is I don't have any box art, so uh, it's a little hard to tell what these games are about. So let's go in here and click the Start menu. Click Scraper. And from here, you have two scrapers that you can choose from. If one doesn't work, choose the other one. Go down to Scrape Now. If you clicked systems, you can go through here and check and uncheck different systems and you will have more systems the more games you have. Uh, now I'm going to go turn the side off because that gets very uh, tricky, especially if you have thousands of games. Then I'm going to click start and allow it to try to find box art and see if it will. And it looks like it is finding box art for both of these games. And yes, it did find box art for both of these games. So it's successfully scraped. Now let's... Uh, and it also gives you the description of the game and tells you a little bit about it and stuff. So let's go ahead and change our theme while we're at it. So I've got a couple of UI setting themes that I've added. So we're going to scroll down to where it says carbon. And we're going to change it to, let's do a soda. Now it might be a little laggy since it is in a, uh, Yeah, it's a little laggy because it is running inside of a virtual machine. But you can see that it's completely changed the theme. Now let's change this theme to something else. You can change a lot of the settings in here. Most of them I don't mess with. So let's change it to something a little bit more basic for right now. All right, so, and then basically you would uh, select whatever game you want. If you click A, it'll bring you into this menu. And from here, you can change the emulator that you want to use. So if you want to use a different emulator on this particular ROM, you can change the default emulator for just this ROM. Or you can change the emulator for all ROMs in that set. And then you just click Launch. It would launch the game. Like I said, it probably won't play very well inside of a virtual machine because we're basically playing an emulator inside of a virtual machine. And then your game will run. So if you press start and select at the same time, it'll exit out of the game. So let's go ahead and press start and quit out of this. And we'll quit emulation station. Click yes. Now let's go ahead and add a couple more games. So I have a GameCube game, so let's find GameCube, GC. And we'll put Mario Kart in there. Game Boy Advance. And I've already scraped all of the images for these, but when you first put them in there, you will need to scrape all the box art. 
And then if I open up RetroPie again, we will see now I have GameCube games available. Game Boy Advance and Sega 32X. And that's pretty much it.